This hour for you on Daybreak as these coronavirus numbers increase, the Springfield Green County Health Department addresses the public once again. And an app for people to find out if they've been exposed to COVID-19, but it's not available in Missouri. We'll explain why. Also, Missouri State is offering to ex students to experience creative works from various parts around the world. We'll show you how all ahead this morning on Daybreak. Good morning and thanks for starting your Thursday with us. Today is November 19th. I'm Jennifer Abreu. And I'm Joe Morano. We have a lot to get to for the next hour for you. We've got plenty of news and of course our check of the weather. Meteorologist TJ Springer is joining us this morning. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, guys. How's it going? Going well. It is Thursday, Friday Eve, like you like to say, mm -hmm. TJ. We're looking forward to it. It kind of sounds better when you say that, right? Get Friday in the name. Just yeah, put Friday you in a brighter Eve. state of mind, I think. Yeah, and it'll be a good day today, too, right? Yeah, to definitely. be outdoors and enjoy our Friday Eve. Oh, it'll be perfect. Yeah, maybe get to one of our local parks around town. Just enjoy some outdoors time. It's going to be a great idea today, but the wind's going to be a big weather headline. We had them around yesterday from the south, which did help pump up our temperatures. For now, we are starry, at least for most of us in Springfield. That's the live look, but notice the shakiness of our tower cam there because of the blustery winds. Another change, seeing some cloud cover now on the satellite radar picture, something that we haven't seen over the last few mornings because of high pressure keeping its hold over the Ozarks. Now that is tracking away from us, which is opening the gateways to our next system. Temperature wise, a good deal of 50s here on the map, but notice some spots. A little cooler in the upper 40s, like West Plains on the other end of the spectrum. Lower 60s in Clinton. We have 60 degrees in Bartlesville, Oklahoma. The cooler air shifting away from us. That's been the case throughout the last 24 hours. The mild air really taking over the plains. The winds are going to be the big story, though. Coming in from the south between 15 and 25 or so. Others a little bit lighter, some, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit higher than that. But the flow is what is key because it's going to keep us well above average. Gusts could be near 40 miles per hour. Some spots I think could see over uh, and feel over 50 mile per hour wind gusts. At least get up that get up to that speed, and that's going to keep us uh, warming through the day. I think we'll probably get into the middle 70s by later on today. So that's something we'll be keeping tabs on. Of course, what comes uh, for the weekend? Wind advisories have been posted. 50 degrees. To start off the day, we'll be back in the middle 70s by the ride on home. The wind is going to hold. We'll talk more about that coming up in our forecast in just a little while. Guys. All right, TJ, thank you. Greene County reported 233 new cases of COVID-19 yesterday, and a record 205 people are currently hospitalized with the virus. Also, just yesterday, nine more people died of COVID-19 in Greene County, all with underlying health conditions. That's according to Springfield Greene County Health Director Clay Goddard. City and county officials held a COVID-19 briefing yesterday, their first one in a few weeks. They all made a plea with citizens not to relax their habits of wearing a mask, practicing good hygiene and distancing. Citizens were asked to abandon large gatherings for the holidays just for one year, almost as most case spreads um, are coming from family gatherings and not at businesses. I dread not being able to have a large Thanksgiving dinner or Christmas dinner with my extended family. Indeed, my own family's Thanksgiving plans have been altered by COVID. But I feel good in knowing that my actions will help prevent me from unknowingly spreading the disease to others who may not survive it. One dinner is not worth the risk of losing someone forever. The call again was made for a masking ordinance statewide as Greene County has been taking on many patients from surrounding areas that have no ordinance in place. Also, Mayor McClure says the risk with a shutdown is the financial safety for a business that just doesn't exist right now, such as extra unemployment money, paycheck protection loans, and CARES Act funding. There's now an app for people to find out if they've been exposed to COVID-19, but it's actually not available in Missouri. It's being used in 20 other states right now, but not here because of privacy concerns. If you try to turn the app on while in Missouri, you'll get a screen that says notifications are not currently available. However, Chief Information Security Officer for Blade Technologies, Scott Schaefer, believes an app like this could be safe and helpful. With the underpinnings already being written by uh, Android and by Apple, uh, you would really have to kind of work at it to be able to expose any personal information. Schaefer also says creating an app for a specific state could take up to 30 days, but the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services says they don't plan to implement that right now. 
And many people may be having a tough time following COVID-19 safety guidelines, which could be contributing to our continued rise in cases. Some health experts are calling it coronavirus fatigue or pandemic fatigue. Fayetteville Public Health Officer Dr. Marty Sharkey says some people are just tired of hearing about COVID-19, having to wear a mask, and not being able to see their loved ones as freely. Dr. Sharkey says as humans, we have a need to connect, and she says she believes people are letting their guards down when getting together, not wearing a face covering, meeting in groups, and not practicing social distancing. Dr. Sharkey says although people are ready to get back to their normal lives, the reality is there is much more at stake if people don't follow the safety guidelines. You know, it's easier to say, you know, we don't want to deal with this, but unfortunately the virus <laughs> is still here. Um, so we still have to take it seriously. We still have to do all the viral mitigation strategies. Dr. Sharkey says the virus is widespread. She recommends finding ways to stay connected through video calls, meeting outdoors as much as possible, and to keep your social circle small. In some more local news, it's International Education Week. Nigel McDonald is in studio now to explain how Missouri State is actually shining a light on its international student population. Nigel. Yeah, Joe, well, good morning. MSU is offering a virtual tour of the globe. Now, the event allows people to watch creative videos from current and former international students from around the world. Learning about other culture, it just brings a lot more knowledge and more diversity into your life. Manny Olivo is a graduate assistant at Missouri State and helped coordinate the university's efforts to give people an inside look at what it's like for international students in their home countries. We reached out to many of our students, alumni currently in their home countries. Can you show us your country? Can you show us how's your day look like? Can you show us anything uh, key, valuable to you that we can showcase to the community here in Springfield? Former international student Zoe Walker created a video for the virtual event that MSU is calling Tour of the Globe. I really wanted to participate when I was asked because when I was studying as an international student, obviously, People ask you a lot of questions about where you're from and being away from home, those combined give me a new appreciation for my home and sharing about it. Walker says she thinks it's important to learn about other cultures. I think you can appreciate the world around you in general a lot better if you understand how different people live and understand that not everybody's like you. Um, and not everybody thinks the same or acts the same way. Olivo says he hopes the Springfield community will appreciate and better understand just how diverse MSU's population is. We have so many students here that um, that are here from countries all over Europe, Asia, and just show Springfield, Missouri, what the culture is and allow the community to be able to see, wow, there's so much more out in the world other than our area here. Well, the new video airs every day between now and November 30th. The videos can be accessed through MSU's social media platforms. All right, Naja, thank you. Now, with your help yesterday, we were able to put the Ozarks first. We partnered with local charities and food pantries to help those in need this holiday season. All right, and those of us here at Color 10 still counting the amounts of donations because it was thousands of dollars and thousands of pounds of food that were given to all three organizations, Ozarks Food Harvest, Cross Lines, and also Convoy of Hope. And as we're still counting, it is not over yet. You can still give to one of these three organizations. All you have to do is text to the number 243725. And if you want to give to Ozarks Food Harvest, you can text the word Ozarks for cross lines, just cross lines. And for Convoy of Hope, the word is Convoy. So thank you for joining us in putting the Ozarks first. It's time for our live drive here on Daybreak. Our photographer Tim hitting the streets. No concerns around downtown Springfield here this morning. I just saw a little view of Park Central Square. The wind going to be the big headline today. Temperatures, though, aren't too bad. They're pretty mild. You may just want the medium coffee here this morning as temperatures will be hanging close to 50 degrees to kickstart our day. And we'll have that sunshine around. But when do we start to see some changes in terms of some wet weather? The latest coming up next in our forecast. From Color 10, Ozarks First. Jennifer Abreu, Joe Morano, and weather with meteorologist T.J. Springer. This is Color 10 News Daybreak.